what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Camilla Parker Bowles, you have flexed on the entire country of England. And Charles, you have single-handedly determined that the monarchy will fall. Y'all all hail the new king. What am I talking about? Listen, all I gotta say is, we know why. Sorry. All I gotta say, ooh, lost track. All I gotta say is now we know why Charles has been playing this media game about whether he's gonna invite Harry and if Harry's gonna come and all this stuff. Y'all, let's just get into this because this is the craziest thing I have heard. Okay? If you guys don't know, Camilla is going to have a joint ceremony. She will no longer be Queen's consort. She will be crowned as queen. And I say, guess what? The royalists, the monarchy, they deserve it. But now we know why Charles wanted Harry to beat his coronation so bad. Or if my thing is correct, to look like it was a coronation. Because of this, right? Camilla's grandchildren to star in the King's blended family coronation. Camilla is going to be standing on the balcony with her kids, her, her and her grandchildren. Now listen, her grandchildren are also going to be involved in the most sacred part of the ceremony. Now listen, let me just say this. I don't care about that. What I do care about, however, is this. The fact that Charles very much knows the optics would be insane, right? If his actual blood children and blood relations aren't on the balcony, aren't involved in the ceremony, but Camilla's children are. He's trying to protect Camilla from the backlash, but Camilla, like all things, is super heavy handed. She feels like she has charmed the royal rota to the nil, to the hilt, and she doesn't have to worry about it. You guys, let's talk about this because this is shocking on so many levels. And let me just be say, say this. I love all the levels. Y'all know I want to see that monarchy abolished. I'm glad Harry and Meghan got out of there because if they were still working for that monarchy, I would still be dragging them. Anything that establishes you as a higher, as a higher um, class of rank of anybody in this world, for any reason is wrong. The fact that you say you're ordained by whoever and yeah, anyway, let's get into this, right? Let's look at the first layer, which is actually delicious. I know Beatrice and Eugenia are pissed, pissed. Charles literally, first of all, he hates his family, hates them. Charles literally for the last how many years has been screaming about scream down monarchy. We need streamlined, we need it lighter, we need it tighter. No, all non-essential people. And remember everybody was like, Charles, what are you doing? How are you gonna find working royals? You know William and them don't work. How are you going to find working William, working Williams, working royals? Well, here's the thing. Charles cut Edward and Sophie out, good, because they're the worst. Charles cut um Andrew out good because he's the worst Charles would cut Anne out but Anne already created her own lane and she just wants to like ride her horses lay on her tattered rugs and play with her dogs fine right Anne seems like she's just like please keep me out of this mess you left this gaping hole about even your own son not allowed to uh, appear on the balcony won't be involved in the coronation won't do this only to have Camilla's family ready to stand on the balcony because she's the future queen, not queen's consort, but queen and her grandchildren are taking part in the most sacred, sacred part of her being coronated as queen when she gets like some type of holy oil or something. Ugh, anyway, right? When she gets some type of oil, anointed with oil, they're going to hold the veil over her head. Your own grandbabies don't have titles because that's what you guys want to go for. But yet Camilla's children, it looks like, are on the edge of having official titles and having all this stuff. I will say one thing. Camilla secured the bag. She changed her family's fortune. Camilla, according to reports, comes from a long line of mistresses, right? Long line of horses. A long line of mistresses. Camilla has effectively changed her family's fate. Now they are descendants of the king, uh, of the queen. 
mistresses no more. They are now officially royalty. You are descendant of the once queen of England. And you know what? I don't fault Camilla because if I was playing that game, that's what I would do. But let's go back to Charles. You literally picked your whole family out of any optics to make room for Camilla's family. And this explains all these weird reports. Charles holding the coronation on Archie's birthday. Charles playing all these games in the media. See, here's the thing about William, and William is such an idiot. He doesn't think fast. He's like, no, 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 Harry can't come because he's not a strategic thinker. If he had sat back, he would have been like, and I'm sure now William is mad about that. We're gonna talk about that in a second, right? God, this is so delicious at the fact that it's so cold-blooded, so cold-hearted. But at the end of the day, I agree with it because we're all going to get what we wanted. I want to see the monarchy destroyed. Charles wants it makes Camilla happy. Okay. So you did all this stuff because you're making a show because you need to the world to make it seem like you wanted Harry and Meghan there because the optics of having your, own, your second son, right? And you only have two sons and a handful of grandchildren sitting at the back of wherever, blocked by pillars, not invited on the balcony, not invited anywhere because it's only for working royals. But all of a sudden, Camilla, whose family is not working royals, who is your mistress upgraded, it's going to have her whole bloodline on that balcony. Can you imagine the optics? Could you imagine the optics? So what has Charles been trying to do? And it's been unfolding very well. You keep like, oh no, he misses his son. He wants to invite him. But you're praying and hoping and sending every message out that if they do come, they will be mistreated. Why are you doing that? Because at the end of the day, you don't want them there. You don't want them there. You look at your family as being Camilla and her family. You treat Camilla's kids better than you treat your own. You treat her grandchildren better than you treat your own flesh and blood. You guys, we solved the Scooby-Doo Mexico, Mexico mystery of what Charles is actually doing. You don't want Harry there. That's why you put it on Harry, Archie's birthday. Then when that doesn't enough, you start attacking them through media. Then you're sending all these things that they will be thoroughly disrespected if they come because you're praying that they don't come. And when everybody sees Camilla's family standing on the balcony, people will say, but what? Huh? What? Huh? And you have the perfect excuse. My own son was invited to stand here too. But they chose not to come. So Camilla's family came. Now, and here's the funny thing. William's been so busy trying to hit back at Harry. You haven't realized who the real threat is, the person that was always the biggest threat, your stepmama, Camilla. Do you honestly think that Camilla is going to let Kate walk around like a peacock not doing anything? Do you honestly think that the amazing social climber Camilla, and listen, when it comes to royalty, I even, I, who cares, climb that social ladder, baby. Do you honestly think that Camilla is not going to try to get someone in her bloodline. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to have to be someone that doesn't eat honey bunches of oats and love apple, keep apples by the bed. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, right? Do you honestly not believe that Camilla is not going to have anybody photogenic or anyone that will just show up, pick up the slack with William and Kate's work? Do you not believe that she is not going to have Charles bestow her family with royal titles of some way? so that they become working royals because don't you know there's so much work and nobody wants to do it never mind that charles kicked out everybody that was willing to do it in his bloodline charles i'll say one thing I, and i'll just say it i think charles hated his mother and father i think he hated everybody that worked for them i think he resented them and maybe he has good reasons they were all screwed up but we are it started with charles selling all his mother's horses. And everybody's like, oh, it's not a big deal. Horses get sold all the time. And I'm like, it looks like he's selling off everything his mother loves. Then now it moves into Camilla's bloodline is taking center stage in Charles's coronation. If I was William and Kate, 
And again, if I was William and Kate, I wouldn't be because I would know how to dress and I wouldn't be warm with my brother. But if I was William and Kate and was in the business of advising them, I would say, dummy, you're so busy fighting Harry, right? You forget that even though you think your dad is weak, even though you think your dad is stupid, even though your dad is one of the most vicious, sneaky, snaky people to ever come out of uh, Buckingham Palace. He is not new to this, he is true to this. He literally set up a red herring with Harry to get you guys infighting while he quietly moved things around so that he could even set up a new court with Camilla, but not just Camilla, her family. And where it comes for her family, ah, you need young working royals? Well, don't you know I have to give them titles and bring them in? Kate, I'm sorry. Oh, we do you don't you want to stay home and just be work shy and lazy? Well, don't you know Camilla's son can do it? Don't you know? Don't you know on the family Christmas cards, it's now going to be me, Camilla, and the grandkids? Camilla is so cunning for this. William is so stupid. At the end of the day, this will sell nothing but devastation for all of them. But guess what? I think they all deserve it because they bought it for themselves. You were so busy trying to make sure Harry didn't shine. You never thought that Camilla was literally trying to take your spot. And yes, eventually you will be king. But Charles is going to live a while. If his mama's genes and his dad's genes are any indication, Charles is going to live a long while. And you will be taking the throne when you are 60 or 7. D, Camilla can do a lot of damage in that time. You guys, this is Machiavellian. This is mwah, chef's kiss. And you know what I find the oddest thing? That everybody went after Meghan with everything they had. Okay? But Camilla is plainly who they accuse Megan of being. Camilla has Charles by the air. Camilla, I would dare say, has fired people that work for Charles. She is the strong one for Charles. Charles cannot function without Camilla. That is his lover, his confidant, his best friend. Life is alive for Charles when Camilla's around. And Camilla is doing everything she can to set up her court and she's doing a great job. You guys, this is unbelievable. There's more, hold on, let me read you guys this really quick, hold on. Okay, let's get into this. The queen's grandchildren will have a prominent official role at the coronation and Prince George is also said to be featured in the service. That's very sweet of Charles to give his first born grandchild also a role, not a prominent role, but a role. Okay. Um, but but we don't hear anything about um, Charlotte and Louis, right? And two significant breaks with royal precedence and a bold move, the king and queen have decided that her grandchildren, who have long been shielded from the light light, will be included in the ceremony at Westminster Abbey to signal their closeness to Charles and his consort. Camilla has five grandchildren who call her by the name Gaga, She's devoted to them, as is Charles, who read Harry Potter to them when they were younger and did impersonations of the characters in J.K. Rowling's series about the boy wizard. I know, wow, you treated your grandchildren better than your own sons. Anyway, Camilla's decision to include the five teenagers sends a strong message that she and Charles are a couple who reflect the realities of modern life, of which a blended family is a central element. When Elizabeth's coronation took place, step-parents and stepchildren are common as a result of divorce. This will reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry. It's understood that Camilla has asked her grandchildren. They are teenagers. So these are the young, sexy as they get older, of course, but royals, the excitement that they need for the monarchy to go forward. Do you see how Camilla gained Charles? Charles, listen, everybody can talk about we're old, right? And William and Kate, they can't dress and he's balding. He looks older than you. That's it. And he's like, really, Camilla? Yes, he looks older than you. You're the handsome one. You can see he took after his mama. You know, he took after his mama. You know, everybody can't look like you, baby. So she's sweet talking him. And then she's like, but you know, we do have young working royals. Young working royals that are loyal to you, Charles. That will be a breath of fresh air. That will never compete with you, my love. All you have to do is give them titles. Just give them titles, my love. Okay. 
boom, and her whole bloodline's taken over. William and Kate should be very, very nervous because not only that, it doesn't take that long to upstage them. Um, let's see. It is understood that Camilla has asked her grand. Oh wait, hold on. A ro- so the grandchildren are going to hold the canopy over her. She's anointed the holy oil during the most sacred part of the ceremony. The most sacred part of the ceremony. She literally put them in the history books. Um, duchesses have previously performed the role. As you know, when that role is performed, that sets up people's bloodlines in the future. The queen consort has said she does not want duchesses. She'd like to have her grandchildren. Also, she is no longer going to be called the queen consort. She's going to be a queen just like Philip was prince and king. In another break with tradition, a significant role for George is being discussed. Being discussed. It hasn't even been. <laughs> Bob is William. Oh, my God. The king and queen are due to meet the prince and princess of Wales soon to talk about possible options. They say that Charles and Camilla are eager for just George. Just George as a future queen to feature and William and Kate are also king, provided a role can be found that does not subject them to overwhelming scrutiny. How is Camilla's whole bloodline involved and you're only letting George be involved? Already you're creating the sins of the father on a new generation. William's an idiot. A source who knows the king and queen well said the decision to give Camilla's grandchildren an official role. It sends a nice signal and it's quite a bold move. It's another example of the king and queen consort being unafraid to shake things up a bit to reflect the realities of modern life, which a blended family is a central element. Inclusion of Camilla's grandchildren and Prince George, just Prince George again, not Charlotte, not Louis, just Prince George. Um, in a two hour ceremony is likely to further, further fuel speculation over the weather um, Harry and Meghan will attend the service and whether they will be accompanied by their children, Archie, who will be four in the coronation and Lilibet. Um, Powell sources have indicated that the Sussexes will be invited as much loved members of the King's family, but Harry and Meghan have not indicated that they will attend. Yeah, you guys, Camilla is on one for this. Congratulations for her scheme working. Again, Charles let Camilla destroy the monarchy once, but she came back to deliver that death blow. You guys, I can not. I cannot. William's an idiot. Charles played him. But at the end of the day, every time he comes up with Camilla, baby, you played yourself. Woo! Long live King Charles and let that monarchy burn, baby, burn. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.